what I plan on doing is this is a brand new motherboard I want to um, get the BIOS updated on this thing and the uh, CPU temperature is currently 49 degrees Celsius that's that's a little high in my opinion so I'm a little concerned about that so uh, we might actually go back and check out the thermal piece on that as well so we're going to monitor that closely and I don't like overclocking or doing anything crazy like that so uh, if you see your CPU temperatures idling about 40 degrees Celsius on a liquid core that's to me that's a little concerning uh, this BIOS right here uh, it's definitely not 1.0 it's uh Let's see here. So we're gonna go to flash right, bios. Anyway, let's see what we got here. They don't really have uh okay, this is a slightly newer version of the bios, alright? So they really don't have a um a proper 1.0 version of the bios yet. All right, let's see what we get here. It, it just completely turned off. That was interesting. What are, we, what are we having here? It's power cycling. All right, so I was updating the BIOS and things just turned off on me. Like this, that was weird. That is definitely interesting. That's not supposed to happen. So when you update your BIOS, it's supposed to go through and, um, you know, straight through. It takes maybe a few minutes and then it restarts and does its thing. Let's see, this is actually turned back on. Let's find out. Yeah, I would like to update the BIOS on this thing. You get better performance and your CPU might run a little cooler. All right, let's see what we get here. All right. You're waiting for the system to display. And so far, you're having uh, some interesting issues here. And uh, usually, like I said, when you update your, when you upgrade your BIOS to a newer version, and you know, it's the same exact motherboard, which I've been doing this for a long time. It's definitely the same motherboard, it's the correct BIOS. And there we go, we lost uh, power. So, what we're gonna have to probably do here is um there is going to be a jumper on the motherboard somewhere that will trip the bios and reset it and um there might be a button on the board actually let's see you got clear cmos okay well let's see if that works we're gonna unplug the computer that is bizarre I'm gonna hold down the power button for a certain amount of seconds. Release any static. All right, here we go. And there is a clear CMOS button right here. Let's hold that down for a little bit. And uh, this is the type of stuff that you will run into when you buy a motherboard that just released literally a couple weeks ago all right so here we have the back of the, of the actual computer itself uh there's going to be a little usb port right here that is for the bios which is pretty standard you usually see that in the back and normally the uh, bios tool inside the bios will actually work fine with that but apparently what you're supposed to do is turn the computer off completely 
plug your flash drive in there. It has to be a FAT32. And then make sure you use the BIOS renamer tool. And then you hold down this little button right here for like five seconds. And you'll start to see it blink. And when it's blinking, that means the BIOS is actually flashing. And you have to leave it plugged in for a good 10 minutes and let it flash. And then go back and check the back of it in 10 minutes afterwards. And uh, once it stops flashing, unplug the flash drive and turn your computer back on. And apparently that is how you flash the BIOS on this particular, particular motherboard. And it seemed like it worked. Very, very interesting.